Files. Press start to begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more AI The Somnium Files. I'm your host, John Mookie Words, and I'm joined, as always, by my girlfriend, Christine. <laughs> you couldn't wait, nope. could you? All right, uh, when we last left off, uh, Mizuki's dad's dead now, too. This girl's just having a rough go of it. What's your name? What? I was asking for your name. My name? You don't even have eyes. Sagami. No, we didn't find anything today. You getting enough rest there, friend? These past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. How can I when there's something living in my eye? What's your name's a choice again? Sure. I guess. Kagami. Oh, can you exploit this and annoy the shit out of him? I think so. Kagami. I told you it's Kagami. I told you my name like five times. <laughs> there's still more. I of course remember his name. Damn it. <laughs> his name is engraved in my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry that was good. That His name is Hey you. What's your name? Uh, it keeps going. Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop fucking <laughs> it's rude. Excuse you. Yes, ma'am. My ma best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> she, she's like, what in the fuck is happening? That was a trophy! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I knew there was a reason to be an asshole! <laughs> I got rewarded for being a fucking prick! <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough, honey. Renju's corpse was hung up by three wires. <laughs> The wires were tied to three Each kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that's going in the compilation for mm -hmm. sure. Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I don't have auto anymore. All of the Not gonna put it back on. Local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. It means your internet was cut off. <laughs> it's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. This club is located in the second floor of the building. You use the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. It's all the way to the kitchen. Oil drum must be some kind of the interior decor. Of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. There's something what? in there. There's something inside. No. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. I guess we don't have it in the budget to show them nope. opening it. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? They carried his body in the oil drum. I'm calling it right now. 
I mean, sounds about right, but I don't I don't remember it. It's been a minute. Good, I hope you don't remember. Is that a scary spear? trident? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I well, harpoon's only one it. prong. Any exactly. This was used in the murder. As in try. No. There are no traces try to put a dent in it. it. And no indication that Renji was stabbed. Dragon's Store's Palace Mania. Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Well, Zata, you just might, you might just be poor. Give me a sec. I want to see what that converts to. Like one yen is like 83 mm -hmm. cents. Chair. Nothing special. Twelve dollars and twenty-eight cents for that for that bowl of food. Okay, then Dante is just poor, or very, very stingy. Officer's guarding the doorway. Why? We can't ask him his name too. Three kegs on the floor. Each holds twenty liters and weighs fifty-five pounds and filled with water. An evidence marker. So a little marker to put track the evidence at the scene. Jesus, how did you get all the way to X with one? Wait, one X and B. What made you change? Mm. Either you guys messed up, or that's supposed to be a clue. This place so open. There's three tridents. Oh, there's one. It's for four tridents. I don't know if that does anything. I don't know if that means anything. That is, that, that is pretty dangerous to be putting on a chair. Trident doesn't look like it has anything to do with the case. Okay, great. Uh, I am wondering why it's attached to a chair. Because that's the way the chairs look. Yeah, they're all, they all have them. That, oh. That's pretty dangerous to be putting near people's heads where they're relaxing at a restaurant. Uh, yeah? And then there's a fourth one. Well, you know what you should, you know what you should do? Yeah, there you go. Other girls that are working here. Creeper. I agree. <laughs> His face. <sighs> what about the window? I had to examine the windows already. You did? Oh. Yeah, anything. If you hover over something that's in uh, uh, white, you can't. There's nothing else to mm -hmm. see. Pictures of maids on display. So they like, literally look for anything that's green. The table. I can't find any clues on it. Up oh, another anchor, a big anchor. The corpse was counter. strewn up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Fun times. But no trace. Yep, of that. that's what happens. Know, fun times. Nor on the corpse itself. This evidence. Because they threw it in the um. That Renju was killed somewhere else. Or they threw it. Yeah, from... remember the oil yeah, drum? Yeah, they was probably st killed somewhere else, shoved in there, and brought them here on display. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Hey, can you not do that right now? I can estimate a person's weight by Where analyzing that claw? the bone structure, muscle, and fat. It's the kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. All is decorated with lights preservers. Yeah, it's too bad it couldn't be used to help us out uh, your dad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you went mm -hmm to a pretty nasty joke. Or just wish to watch was inside the whole drum. Hey, why don't you why don't you uh look at the uh, not not that. Like where the hook is hanging off the ceiling. That like the, the hook. Uh no, not that one. It's not gonna be exact. Left. Down. Nope. The top of the the top of the nope not there to the left yeah there Wait, nope. sign nope mm. you can't go further than that and you can't you can't examine the hooks either none of them the one that uh I'm pretty sure you can if like the one that's connected to the three of them not that one the one next to it 
Oh, okay. Hmm. Sure. All right. What? <laughs> good. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Ah! Yeah. The time of discovery was 10:20 p.m. Did you, did you did that freak you out that much? You already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first well, to discover. Well, I know, I see it. No. The body was hanging. No, not as bad as you might think. Similar to how a fish would be. I will tell you right now, these are the deaths in this have been more gruesome than Phoenix Wright's ever have been. Hung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a death in the Phoenix Wright uh, murder case that was more gruesome than this, and I can't think of one. Mm. Or deep impressions of his neck. Correct. The yep. face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Right eye still there. The left eye is not. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sign. Mm -hmm. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Yeah, I'm sure you won't look at that no, anymore. No, I don't. One place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. I forgot all about that loser for a moment. He, he dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Yeah, Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Yusuke tried calling Iris. There was no answer. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. No. Mess up the buttons again. <laughs> hmm. Which ones should I go to first? Uh, make sure there's like no like varying story or whatever after this, because you know. You know what I'm like, what? like different ending, because I know you. No, there was a thing. No, I read. I read that 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 shit only happens when you're in the uh, the Somnium world. Oh, okay. The what your decisions in the Somnium world are what affect the story. Uh. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh well, too late. Oh. I forgot to go. No.
My bad. <laughs> I actually forgot. I actually forgot all about that. <laughs> I can't believe we're going back here to talk to this loser. Yep. Every person I've talked to about this game, I bring up the fact that he has three sock puppet counters on, accounts on Twitter and make, shit makes kid. up Twitter fights. Oh, what? He's not he's not a kid, he's 24! He look, he's short as fuck. Excuse then. me. I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. I guess you're bad at math. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Her attire is definitely unprofessional for sure. Not so bad. Good. Date, we know where your eyes are. Five minutes, Date. I love Date. He's a. Oh, I can't stand him. God, God, don't don't tell me she's like the AI of the Somnium Files version of April May. Yeah, Wait, what? totally. You never you'll learn. Like you'll learn soon. Boss. Like, oh my god, she it? is April May. Oh like, no. Hitting the lotto. But uh. was kind of lucky in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Oh, I haven't heard anything about that yet. <sighs> The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too! Man! What am I gonna do if this place closes up? I know how she so, feels. Anyway, tell me, Date. What kind of <laughs> well... <laughs> because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me <laughs> Mizuki's like, hmm? please well, don't tell I me you're taking this woman seriously. We could go out sometime. Okay, what is his face? Wow, dude. You just <laughs> Good job. Oh, uh, my apologies. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I can't. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. <laughs> nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows what to do. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those are the ones you're I seriously doubt for. that. Huh? Nothing. That's also true. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. So I got my business card and handed it over to the receptionist. Yeah, that's what it was for, dude. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Oh my god. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like, best friends. <laughs> Her face tells me an entirely different party. story. We do not party. Hey, hey! Who hired this woman? The most likely thing <laughs> is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? Let's go to the diner. I'm gonna go, yeah, diner first, and then we'll go to the one place we haven't been yet. Yeah. Uh-oh. Burn right dip for a sec on my end, but it's good now. Lots of sheet of diner on Sunday. Hello, welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Otis friend? Yep. And you 
Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Uh, I just remembered. I looked at the voice cast for uh, this game, and I found out who voices the old lady. Flea Sampler. Uh, you remember she died yet? She died last year. Is, isn't remember? that um 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 uh, Digimon? Oh God, who was she? She was she was yeah. Mimi. He went out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. Took my business card out of my pocket and handed it to me and me. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Mm, I got more questions. Oh, good God. I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. But he'll come back soon. He always does. Runs off, then comes back. I'm beginning to have God, I hope so. management of this establishment. I as well. Oh, Why? Stop, you charmer. I want to hear what they say. But you're not also, the dumb shit is what happy. gives me the achievements. I knew you were a pedo, Date, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. I am neither of those things. What the hell's wrong with you, Mizuki? <laughs> oh, everything here is delicious. Oh. My favorite is our omelet rice. God, Did you want to eat here? No, I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. Mizuki, you have no right to compare this nice uh, compare me to Vic Mignogna. I'm legally allowed to call him a pedophile. It's in court documents now. If he tries to sue you, you can sort public court record. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. KZ was even joking about it in the uh, drunk stream I last heard. night. Golden Yokocho. That's supposed to be like, um, oh my god. Is this it? It is. Yeah. I think. You know about this place? Yeah, this is where I met Renshu for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. No, that's New Serena and Kamarocho. That's up I the road. I think this sure. is. I think this is supposed to be where that is. Huh? Let's head inside. No. Because uh, Kamarocho is in Tokyo, and they're out. They're like right out. They're out in a different prefecture. Yeah. Although it looks a hell of a lot like the bars where you'd find is there. Everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. That's right. I, I learned through Yakuza that the uh, women who run bars in the entertainment districts are called mamas. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. I wonder if that has any relation to our case. No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush. Just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. 
Conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here at Marble. Oh God, she has blackmail on him now. The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemna Street, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. I told so you, there's also the options. Me. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Really now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine. I don't like hearing you talk either. <laughs> Got it. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Having both your parents oh, murder will do that to you. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid, they gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... you haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Props to whoever directed Doctor. this game. The game is amazing. Hey, long time no see. Hey, Mama, how have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Is that Patrick really? Sykes? I have no oh, idea. Have so hard. Stupid Ren. It what is. What is he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. Have I exhausted all of yours? Mm. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day, when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Oh. 
I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Alright, this is for Renju. I promise. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. All right, then. That's a pretty wide range. Yeah. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Oh, boy. Mizuki's crawling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by the mama. Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Yep, I hear that. You should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? Oh, yeah. I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. I just can't get away from Yakuza on this channel, can I? Not really. That company Shoko was running. Were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, except in this one, I'm not hitting him over the head with vibrators. What? Well, Please look forward to Yakuza like a dragon. Watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? <laughs> your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. Mm. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it oh, this man. watch? Oh man, that's such foreshadowing with what what well, happened to, watch to my him. Hand pocket. This is when I found the oil drum at the sunfish pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, you didn't. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Yeah, just like the voice of Cloud. Eh. Oh, you didn't? Did you hear about that? No. Uh, talking her of Sakurai, the voice of Cloud in FF7 and uh, Ryan in uh, Mob Psycho 100. Um, Apparently he's been cheating on his wife for over ten years. Oh. oh. And he even led the he even led the uh, woman he was having an affair with on to that, that they would marry, and he never told uh, her that he was married. <laughs> nope. So it just goes to show y'all, uh, Rag Ragan Arataka from uh, Mob Psycho 100, both his English and Japanese voice actor are pieces of shit. Anyway, we're continuing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You remember where it is? Yeah. Outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? 
<laughs> Scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. Give her nod and a wave and left. So I'm leaving her there. Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work. He, I, can't take I forgot that she did that. Yeah, she. Understood. Yeah, she's a little shit. But we love her. Boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a yakuza den. Why does everybody pronounce that in different ways? Yeah, people say Sunday people say yakuza. People say yak. Yakuza, whatever he just said. Whenever someone says Yakuza, I always think of the way Austin says it, whatever the text Who's comes this up. Asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. <laughs> yep. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right. Oh all my right. god, if I that's who I think it is voicing that guy, then this is fucking what do you perfect. Know about the new Cyclops serial killings. Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. I cannot believe that on uh, on Super Bonus Round we are playing two games that have Yakuza in it, and they both have conversations where Greg Chun and Kaiji Tang are talking to each other in the context of the Yakuza. If I had a nickel for every time that ha that happened, it, I'd have ten cents. It's not a lot, but it's rare that it's mm -hmm. happened twice. But that being said, next time on the Super Bonus Round, <laughs> we're going to continue talking to this uh, Yakuza and get some information out of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. She.